Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today I have decided that we are going to hunt what I consider one of the toughest maps and see if we can get some trophies. We did this on the No DLC playthrough series recently and I decided let's do it on our main account and try to get some trophies off of Hirschfelden. You know, when I made that video, I had a ton of people asking me why I consider Hirschfelden to be the toughest map and well, there's actually quite a few reasons with the primary one being how brushy of a map it is. With the map being so incredibly brushy, it makes it very difficult to be able to get any type of good uh, viewing angles on any of the zones. If you go to a drink zone, there's a pretty good chance that it's going to be covered in brush and making it really hard to actually hit the animals. And if you uh, go to a feeding or resting zone, chances are it's probably going to be in the trees. The only open zones are ones kind of like this one right here, where we are actually out in a field. Or in this case, a, a tree farm. But that makes this map a very difficult one to hunt for a lot of people. And it's made it so Hirschfelden is one of the less popular maps in the game. Though I think, even though it is difficult, it has some pretty good hunting opportunities. And pheasants are a pretty big one in my opinion. The pheasant hunting on this map is actually pretty insane as well as the uh, the fallow deer hunting being decent and a couple other things that we will talk about as we get further into the video. Before we get any further in the video, be sure to leave a comment down below on what your favorite species to hunt is on Hirschfelden. Really curious to see what you guys prefer to go for whenever you are playing this uh, more difficult than normal map. Because uh, there's a lot of species that are actually pretty cool. There is that little level 6 fox. I honestly love the way the foxes look after they got their remodel. They really do look quite stunning now with that long fur. Well, there we go. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit any of those. I, I really don't think we will. There's definitely a ton of pheasants in that group, so maybe if we can get a little bit closer, we will be able to take a couple of them out, but that, uh, that distance was just not going to cut it. Here we go. Well, that got at least two of them, I think, and we might be able to get another one if we are quick here. Yep, that is going to be a kill as well. So, we actually got a good amount of those pheasants. I believe three of them, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if any of them were males. Yeah, that is a female right there. I think they were all females, but at least we're getting a few of them down. And number two is a uh, brown female, so I'm going to assume they all are. There is our final pheasant once again, just a female, but it's another pheasant kill, so can't really complain. I'm just happy to get pheasants down. Recently, I really have been enjoying the upland game bird hunting a lot more than I did previously. It's become a really fun thing for me to do when I'm not doing great one grinding, and it, it has paid off. I mean, we got a lot of uh, upland bird kills on Revon Tuli, and now we're going to Hirschfelden to get some, so... Hopefully, in a reasonable amount of time, we can get some rares or diamonds of some of these species. I would love to get an albino pheasant or a leucistic male. I don't have either of those, so that would be really cool. Well, uh, we just got host to this server, so hopefully we will be able to uh, not crash because then we would uh, not be able to get back into this server. So yeah, we're just going to bank on not crashing. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. A few moments later. Well, we had to go to another server as the last one uh, made my game crash. So we're on to another server now and back to the same area that we were on the other one. Because, I mean, let's just face it. This is a pheasant hotspot. I had to come back here in hopes that this server would be a little bit more kind to us. Oh my gosh! No way! It's a level 3! Are you kidding me? No way! It's a level 3 pheasant! Are you kidding me? I have not seen a level 3 pheasant in so long! This is insane. I don't even care about that fallow deer we just shot. I gotta make sure I don't lose this thing. I gotta make sure that I keep my eyes on this level 3. That is crazy! I can't believe we found a level 3 pheasant. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep the shotgun ready just to make sure that we don't miss this thing. What's the fur type? Brown. Okay, so it's just a normal common. 
but it's still a level three nonetheless. That is incredible. Let's hope we can get it to fly up in a spot where we can actually take it down. Now, the thing about pheasants is we absolutely have to shoot it in the air. We cannot shoot this thing on the ground or else we will not get a score on it. So we got to make sure that we get it while it's airborne. And that can be difficult with these things. That, that can be very difficult. So we got to be very careful here. Just make sure that we don't shoot it while it's on the ground or starting to land or anything like that. You know, this feels all too familiar with us having to spend over two hours chasing that red willow ptarmigan the other day. I hope this doesn't turn into a two to three hour chase as well. That would be crushing if it does. But thankfully, he's going right to us. And that is a level three pheasant down. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. And it's a diamond 20.38. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. It barely made it by like 0.11, I believe, or yeah, no, 0 0.09. It made it by 0 0.09, but that is still a diamond pheasant. Oh my gosh. Well, I can tell you one thing. Brobra is going to be very jealous as this is one of the trophies he has really been looking for. I can't believe we finally have another diamond pheasant. It has been probably a year since I got my last one, so this is a really cool thing to see. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know how I can top that. How can I get anything that could possibly top that trophy right there? It's going to be tough. We're going to keep hunting around, though, and see if we can find anything else. We got one trophy off this server, so decent chance we could get another. And I see why. This is a level one host. No wonder we got a diamond pheasant. This map has never been searched, like, ever. I imagine these people just got the game and decided to open multiplayer and play together and just left it as public. So, yeah, that's crazy. This is probably an unpicked, fresh server. So we're definitely going to stay on here and search around some more. Well, uh, we may have not found a male pheasant, but... It's, uh, it's a pheasant nonetheless. Might as well give her the old, uh, no-scope treatment and be on our way. Well, we've got some more male pheasants, though. At this point, I don't think we can top that insane diamond that we got. That is honestly one of the rarest diamonds in Call of the Wild. Most upland bird diamonds are some of the rarest things in the game. So I don't think we're going to be able to top that diamond pheasant anytime soon. That is a crazy trophy to get. Well, I kind of got sidetracked because of that diamond pheasant. But in the beginning of the video, I said that we would talk about some of the more interesting species eventually. And this is uh, one of the ones I was talking about. I absolutely love the Euro Bison. They are quite unique. And this is the only map where you can actually hunt them. So that makes this a uh, pretty unique experience compared to other maps and species. And honestly, the Euro Bison hunting might be some of the easier hunting on Hirschfelden because, I mean, let's face it, these things are huge. And to be honest, a lot of the areas they drink are pretty open. This is one of the exceptions. This isn't exactly super open, but the majority of places that they do drink are much more open than this. So here's our little level two Euro Bison. Let's grab that real quickly. 7240, so not a big one, but uh, still our first Euro Bison of the day. And here is kind of what I was talking about. This is kind of what your average European Bison zone looks like on Hirschfeld. And honestly, it's not bad. A lot of these zones are actually really nice, like this one right here. And uh, this is over in Bondorf Canyon at uh, Bondorf Lake. It is honestly an amazing spot for the Euro Bison, so let's go ahead and take a shot. This is a longer one, but I think we should be good, and I missed the second shot, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure that one connected. There we go. There is our Bison. Let's go ahead and claim it. 142.07. Uh, kind of midway between silver and gold, so nothing too insane there. Well, that is going to be it for this video. Unfortunately, I'm running short on time, but we did get this beautiful diamond pheasant, which is honestly a really cool thing. I didn't expect to find a diamond pheasant today. Like, of all the things we could have found, this was my one that I least expected to see. But man, I'm sure glad that we got it. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content enough to watch it this far, consider subscribing and uh, also uh, hitting that bell for the notifications. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!